It's just, wow, I can't believe we get these for our phones. This is the 300 times smartphone microscope. Yes, microscope, not macroscope, microscope. And we are talking microscopic. It's insane. It's from a Pexel. We're going to have a good look at it today. G'day, guys. What's cracking? It's Ralph here. When you open the box, you get some instructions. Not going to need that after this video. You get the lens itself. Now, the lens has two buttons here. If you hold them down, you get some lights. Have to hold them down for two seconds, and then you can rotate through the lights. So we have warm, we have half warm, half warm, white, half white, half white, and UV as an option. Now this only works as you clip it into the bracket. The bracket goes on your phone. It'll work on most smartphones. You should check your model. iPhones, it's all good. And I would suggest taking off your phone case as you put it on. It's really quite simple. You just click it on one side, you pull it with the spring action loaded to the other side, and then you just line up your lens until it's absolutely perfect. And when it's absolutely perfect, you just tie this little knob at the top and it locks it in and you'll know you've got it locked in because when you open your camera app you don't have anything encompassing encumbering encumbering breaking in on blacking out mucking up your image encumbering what's that word down below please if you will um, we also have a USB-C charging, you charge the lens unit like this and the lens unit just slots on quite simply. It's got a USB-C here and you just push it in, it clips in and then you release it by this little button just here. You release it like that, but it clips in, it's nice and secure and it's got your lights around it and you can access the lights just by the side here. So we're going to go to bright light and we're going to see if this actually do goes all right. Now, as you can see through the lens right now, you're thinking, what is going on? I can't see anything. It's because it's a microscope. You've got to get up nice and close. Also, you have a lovely bag, you have a lens cloth and you have some sticky foam pads that can hold your bracket off your phone in whatever ways you need. So if you find your brackets not sitting flush and straight, use one of the pads on the bracket, not on your phone, and it will hold it in a level way across from your phone. So this is where it gets neat. The other day, a little beetle crawled into my studio and I've never seen a beetle like this ever before. And then it died like right on the carpet. And it did, it, it just sacrificed its life for this video because I'm going to use the beetle with this to zoom up super close and you can see how insane this is. Ready? So let's flip over the box. So we've got a white background and I'm going to jump to the phone in just a sec. In fact, you'll be able to see the phone. You'll be able to see how close I am. We're going to take said beetle and it is tiny. Can you see that? Like that's the beetle. That's how tiny it is. And we're just going to go in with it, with it, with it. Look at this. Look at this. We're nearly touching it. And now it's in focus. Look at that. That's insane. I can take a photo of that. I'm a bit, no, a bit not nervous, but a little bit like, I should just do it with two hands. We'll be much better with two hands. That's the photo I get out of it. It is obviously determined by how steady my hands are. I'm going to flip over the beetle. So he's upside down now, and this is <laughs> just, wow, I can't believe we get these for our phones. The hardest thing is lining something up. So you need to know where your lens is and then you can go right over the top. Look at that. Like that's crazy. And then I can actually go zoom on two on the lens and it takes me in even closer. the same with video so I can go to video and I can press video we can make it happen and again the closer you get the better it gets now if you're filming something or you're photographing something that's moving it's going to be a little bit of a challenge right so you have to wait till it comes across in the right part I'd suggest shooting on live view and banging it off uh, that will give you a much more um, accurate uh, representation of what you're trying to get if we go to photo though and watch what happens if we go um, to super zoom and then it jumps off super zoom the reason it jumps off super zoom is you have on your iPhones the 
ridiculous, ridiculous function where it changes lenses to get a better view. So it obviously looks at that and goes, oh, we can get a better view with a different lens, but you can't disable it, which is just sh stupid. Anyway, you can go to another app. So if I open up a different app, for example, if I use ProCam, I can go to ProCam, I can go to Telephoto on ProCam, I then readjust my lens so that it's sitting over the zoom lens, and I do that by holding the button, I take this off, I then reposition this over the zoom lens, I tighten it in, it's really that quick, that's how you do it, and then I slap this on. Look at that detail. Microscopic. And I'll show you something crazy. Got myself a golf ball that I was using for a different review, which you'll have to check out the channel for in due course, just to show how small the camera is based on this. But watch this, I'm gonna put this down, and the golf ball looks okay, it's got a little bit of dirt on it. So have a look at this. <laughs> and the lights really help. That's the dirt that's on the golf ball. anything like that in real life. So if you want to play around with a microscope that you can put on your phone and easily take photos with, get super close to things that are just beyond ridiculous, here you go. It's all yours. <laughs> Links are in the description below. Thanks, Apexel, for sending it to me. Um, you got a ton of these different uh, devices. Uh, I'm a little bit partial to this one. This one is a lot of fun, and it's a, a tool that I never would have had the opportunity to muck about with otherwise. So thanks so much for sending it to me. I hope this review has been helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.